Hi everyone, welcome to our channel where we talk about homesteading, carpentry, and anything else you can dream of. We have a great show for you today, and we're going to show this brand new doghouse that we just built. And here she is in the doghouse, checking it out. She was in it several times before it was finished. The roof is steel, painted blue. And I custom made the window. It's plexiglass. <clears throat> the window is plexiglass, so it will never break. Well, not easily, and if it does break, it won't leave glass everywhere. There's two hinges. They're outdoor hinges on it. What's up? Here's the back side of it. You can see that these are two by fours. There's four of them coming down. The siding is real wood. It's all pine. It's one half inch thick siding. I still didn't put the end caps on it. You can see how great that roof turned out. Turned out great, awesome and fantastic. These are two by fours, so there's three of them here. I'm gonna to try to show how I put it together. There's one two by four in the middle. Then there's more two by fours. Then there's more two by fours. This right here is a two by four. So I pretty much built the entire thing with two by fours and then put a steel roof on it. It also has the siding. Um, I came up with the design from my mind. I got the one half inch siding. That was the main thing I needed because I have a lot of two by fours. I have enough two by fours to probably build 10 more of these dog houses right now. And this is a larger dog house. My dog weighs almost 50 pounds. Here you can see the inside of the house. And there you can see the window from the inside. Um, I am going to make the window open and stay open. This is for ventilation, top ventilation. Because of the overhang, it doesn't get water in it when it rains. Because this is completely sealed, the entire roof. There's the peak, there's the roof. Turned out great. I mean, you can see my reflection in it. So I'll just show the paint that we used. I bought the paint locally here in Ohio. It's a gloss royal blue Rust-Oleum protective enamel. Superior durability, premium quality, oil-based. This is one quart of it. Here's the trailer, which you can see in another video that I posted yesterday. 10 foot trailer, steel trailer, single axle Dexter, Dexter axle on it. There's my tripod. I really like my tripod. There's an old dog house. Someone gave me that dog house years and years ago. It's plywood and uh, the inside of it isn't doing that, that great, but. Oh, here's the ducks. Here's how large the ducks are now. A little bit bigger than last time we showed the ducks in the video. And here's their enclosure. It's the pool we have for them.
they're just chilling. They're listening to a beeper go off. They really pay attention to sounds very well. So let us know if you have any questions about the doghouse. Also, take a guess down in the description box of how many hours it took me to assemble this doghouse with power tools. I did use power tools. I did not use a handsaw. You could use a handsaw and a hammer. Uh, handsaws, I mean, I'm not sure how much they are, but probably less than $20 and a hammer. Um, I bought many hammers for less than $10. So for $30, you can get the tools to make this doghouse. Now that does not include the tools to cut the steel roof, but something different but yes you can build this entire structure with a handsaw a hammer uh, maybe some screws and a screw gun or drill if you do not have uh, power tools like I do I spent a lot of money and invested in the power tools because I like building things See how straight I got it. I used to build houses, the largest house, or what I should say is the most expensive house I helped frame uh, was around $350,000. Uh, I used to help frame those houses in. But if you look online, Go ahead, do a Google search and do all the searches and let me know how much a doghouse like this, solid wood pine with a peaked roof in steel, a steel roof would cost. Um, I looked at a few of them online. There are varying prices of the doghouses. So let me know what you find. Also check out our carpentry company page. It's down in the description. I have all the materials to build more of these dog houses so if you would like one for your dog please let us know I'm gonna walk up <laughs> my girlfriend built this look at this <laughs> she's gotten a lot of compliments on it it's a log that I had cut with my chainsaw and then she put these two by fours on it for legs what do you think about it I'm gonna show something she built and then she stained it Look at that stain. She did a wonderful job on it. Very unique, very unique. Here's my dog. She's a mixed breed, but she is a terrier. Oh, she's a brindle terrier. And here is the next one up that we built right here. Um, I designed it. I built the entire structure. Pretty much myself. My girlfriend helped me lift the walls into place after I designed them, framed them, and put them all together myself. Um, I didn't never went to college for building, but I do have a science degree. That's just my handle in the shot. This is 20 feet long. <clears throat> it's 8 feet wide. Dual axle trailer. I think it weighs around 3,500 pounds. It could weigh more. There's my doghouse I built. My second trailer. <laughs> There's a duck still in the same place hanging out. There's my doghouse for my dog. There's my house. I do sleep in the camper often. It, it is insulated, the camper. The whole back of the camper drops down, steel. It's on unlevel ground here. This whole back door opens, I can show that in another video. A couple lawnmowers I have, I think I have four lawnmowers right now. They all work. There's the hinges on the door. Yeah, so if you're getting into building, you know, let me know. 
I have quite a few different tools, you know, if you're around Cleveland, you know, you want to build a project with me, since I have my own company and all my own tools and equipment and truck, trailers and everything else. I have more trailers. I have a 30 foot flatbed. It's all built with two by fours, the top of it, bottom steel. Not finished painting. Oh, door I put in. I custom cut the door and I put the door in. So I never got the siding at the top and I did not get the siding at the bottom. But that's okay. So window support. Still didn't get those interior walls in. Oh look, the ducts are over here now. I'm thinking about running this video straight through because it takes so long to edit. Um, if I edit a video, I can spend uh, one to two hours editing. <laughs> This is the fence they could fit through when we first got them. Oh, there's flowers in the shot. Should get my camera out. I have a Canon camera uh, from when I was in college studying photography. I got the, the other Canon. What I'm filming with now is also a Canon uh, video camera, second camera, because my other Canon camera, uh, the video option broke, so it will no longer focus. It does both. The other one does photography and video, this one just does video in HD. <laughs> but this is the fence they fit through when they were little, and now you can see uh, they will not fit through the fence any longer. So yeah, I really like the ducks. They're still hanging out. <laughs> and they have been swimming in their pool. Uh, so yeah, check out our website, let us know, let us know if you need anything, and if you like the doghouse, if you w would like one with a custom color roof, we can do purple, we can do yellow, we can do red, we can do orange, we can do green, uh, we can do any color that they sell, we can do rainbow, you know, if you want a rainbow roof doghouse, you know, I will custom make it and custom paint it and tape it off and my edge lines will be perfect on the rainbow roof doghouse. Just let us know. Or any tie-dye, I mean, don't know how you get it on there, but probably with a sponge, you know, and dab it with a sponge, get a tie-dye effect. But yeah, I really like the window. It took me a long, a long while. To, I custom made the framing for the window and I drilled through the plexiglass in the back side and put screws through it to hold it onto this custom framing. This is, I think, inch and a half by inch and a half framing on it. That's, that's pretty much it. Just hit us up, let us know how you're doing, contact us. And if you build one off of my design here, let me know. I came up with this design. You won't find it anywhere else. It's my own design on, on how to do the roof. So the roof structure, that's usually the most uh, important part when you're building. It's going to be, well, your foundation, your whole structure, and then the roof. The roof is going to be one of the trickier parts. I cut it in angles, got it on there perfectly. Well, nails coming out, but you know, I framed it with my framing nail gun for houses. Even though this, I mean, it is a house, it is a dog house. Show the inside one more time. Okay, well. Thank you for watching and
Have a wonderful day. Take care.